everyone Kathy here and today on my easy cooking channel I am going to be showing you how to make my version of a garlic and lemon herb chicken and we're doing this today in the slow cooker um, the slow cooker that I use is a, a ninja brand slow cooker any crock pot will do however um, I am planning this for tonight's dinner and it's about nine, a little after nine in the morning, and I'm going to let this cook on low until my husband gets home from work about, oh, I don't know, quarter to six-ish. And uh, it will be nice and juicy and hopefully falling off the bone tender. And uh, anyway, this is easy to prepare in the morning if you're going to be at work all day. Come home, you've got vegetables, you've got your meat, throw a little salad in there, and you've got a great dinner. And of course, maybe a little glass of wine. So I'll tell you what we're using today. Uh, the center star of our meal, of course, is a chicken. I bought this whole chicken. It is a Maple Leaf Prime brand and it's raised without antibiotics. Um, always make sure you have a good fresh chicken. And uh, so check your dates on your packages. And also make sure you wash your bird under the water, running water, wash it real good, inside and out, and check for any packages. Sometimes they'll throw the giblets or, you know, like the little organs and uh, neck and stuff. Sometimes you'll have that in there. This one did not. I looked, I couldn't find a package anywhere. So anyway, I opened the legs up and rinsed it good inside and out. Um, okay, so next thing you have and this is what I bought. I bought it also at our local farm boy, same place I bought the chicken. I actually bought it pretty much everything. But they have this poultry blend of seasonings. And in here you've got rosemary, thyme, sage, and oregano. Now if you don't have a poultry blend pack like this, you can buy them all separate. Um, you could probably also use your dry herbs, but fresh, fresh is better. I've got two lemons, one of which I sliced and one of which I quarter. You also want to make sure you wash the outside of your lemons very well. Um, anything where you're going to be cooking with skin on ingredients, you want to make sure you wash them really well. These are organic lemons, but still wash them really well. I have uh, peeled and quartered about six small potatoes and then I have these there's little baby carrots. You can buy these just in a bag, just like this. And what's easier than that? So I've got a little bag of the baby carrots. I've got chicken broth here, two cups of chicken broth. And in here, when I poured the hot water in, I also added about six cloves cut up of garlic. So we're gonna throw that in first and uh, get that out of the way. So I'm just gonna Pour this into my crock pot, like so. I'm gonna turn my crock pot on low. And get that going. Look, I'm gonna set it for, let's see, six, seven, eight, how is it? We'll go nine hours on low. Put that in the tank. And now we're going to prep our chicken. So we'll come back down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of each item that's in this, this uh, poultry pack. And we're going to put it inside of our chicken. So I'm just going to bundle it up like so. And right where the legs are, I'm just going to push it right inside of my washed chicken. And then we're going to take the quartered lemons and also put them right inside. We may have to go through the other end to get the rest of them in, which was, this was where the neck was. So we'll push them right inside there. Oh, smells so good, this lemon. So, okay, there we go. And uh, that's pretty much it for the inside. So I'm gonna tuck my legs back in the string now, like so. And oh, also on the bottom of the 
pan, I'm going to put four of my six slices of lemon, like so. And let me uh, rinse my hands off, and I'm going to move my camera so you can see how I'm going to arrange this on top. I just can't wait to have this tonight. So, let me bring you, hopefully, <laughs> this is not easy. Let me, uh, see this is where I need a cameraman. All right, we're gonna lower the camera here. Set it up here. And bring my crock pot out of ways. All right, so there you can kind of see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my chicken over. This is so easy, you guys. Just set it right on top of your lemons. On the top, I'm just gonna put a couple more lemons right there. And the rest of our seasoning packet, like so. And then around the chicken, I'm gonna place our carrots and potatoes. So I'm just gonna grab a handful and kind of throw them in around this beautiful bird. Oh, there go the dogs barking at the garbage man. I'm gonna put you on pause for just a second. Okay, so I've repositioned the camera I have closed my slider door and the front window to make sure hopefully the dogs will not bark anymore. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to finish putting these last few items in right around the side. Oh, doesn't this look beautiful? It's not even cooked yet and it looks just so lovely. So there we go. And uh, there go the dogs again. So what I'm going to do is just uh, put my lid on here and we're going to let it cook, like I said, until it's done, which will be 5.30, 6 o'clock tonight. And then we'll come back and we'll check on the progress of our gorgeous chicken. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back and uh, my husband's going to be home in probably, oh, 15, 20 minutes or so. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take out the chicken and the vegetables and we're going to start making a little gravy out of the chicken stock that's in here with all of the wonderful goodness. Um, so what I want to do first, I've got a little bowl here and I'm just going to take out like the lemons and Mmm, very lemony. Any of the little stems that I can get right off the bat from our herbs, like so. And uh, you'll notice this does not look like a roasted chicken, okay? It's not brown like a roasted chicken. Um, if you want that brown look, what you could do right now when you take this out is put it under the broiler in your oven for, I don't know, a few minutes, just until you get that brownness on the top, uh, if that's important to you. But it doesn't, it's not going to really affect the flavor. This is uh, going to be a wonderful chicken. So I got my little bits out. Oh, there's one of the lemon quarters came sliding out. Those are well liquefied. All right, so I'm going to take my little fork here on one side. Whoa, look at it. It's falling apart. Hopefully I can gracefully get most of this onto the plate. It is so fall apart tender, you guys. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm trying to get as much of that out as possible. There's some meat here as well. 
And then if I see any more little stems bobbing around, we'll take those out. Here's a lemon. So I'm just going to uh, take what I can out of here. And then we're going to get the vegetables out. Oh, there's some more meat. Okay, so I think there's a lemon. Look at that lemon. Look at what's left of this lemon. i hold it up here. It's just mush, really. It's just so liquefied in here. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is put my foil on the chicken to keep it warm. And then I'll move my bowl over here and we'll get the vegetables out. So I've got my slotted spoon naturally. And we're gonna get the vegetables out, scooping up everything. You're gonna get garlic in here and everything, but uh, that's all right. What I'm trying to do is just take it all out. Cause all I want left in here is the juices, the chicken broth, the good stuff. There's a couple more stems. Oh, there's there's a bone. <laughs> there's a bone. Ouch. Hot. Oh no, I lost my spoon. <laughs> there. Get a paper towel. <laughs> so clearing this out. I think I could touch my spoon now. Doesn't that broth look wonderful? It looks wonderful and yellow and lemony. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And if you wanted to further, you could strain this through a mesh strainer. I'm just going to try and get the bits of garlic out of here. I think I've pretty much got them, actually. I do believe. I think so. Okay, so I set my spoon off to the side. I'm going to cover my vegetables and let keep those warm. This is going to be so good. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got a couple of spoonfuls of um, cornstarch, a little bit of water, and so I've stirred that up. I'm just going to add that into my juices here, my chicken broth. And I'm going to take my little whisk and the, the, uh, blend, the, 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 <laughs> the ninja slow cooker is still on. So we're going to keep this nice and hot still. Like I said, you could stir this uh, or uh, strain this further just to get the extra bits out, but it's really good with those extra bits to make a nice gravy. I hear my dogs pacing around in the background. So we're just going to whisk that, continue cooking it until it gets to gravy consistency. And then we're going to be done. So I'm going to keep whisking and dropping my whisk. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back to dish up when everything is ready. Okay, so I have dished up my chicken. My husband will be walking in any moment. And you can see I've poured the gravy off into a measuring cup because I couldn't find my gravy boat. But I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit over the top and some on my vegetables like so. 
We'll grab a knife and a fork. And we're all ready for dinner tonight. It's easy cooking. You can't get much easier than that. Oh, and I do take the skin off of my chicken. And uh, I just don't eat this chicken skin ever. But uh, there we go. It's a beautiful, slow-cooked, herbed lemon chicken. So let me dig into this and uh, give you my opinion. Mmm, that is so tender. Try some with carrot. Delicious. So flavorful. So lemony. The vegetables are very lemony. Love it, love it, love it. So give it a try. Let me know what you think. And uh, I appreciate you tuning in for this uh, episode of Easy Cooking. Uh, if you like the, the video, hit subscribe and uh, you'll be notified whenever a new one pops up. So thanks for watching and enjoy what's cooking in your kitchen. Bye for now.